We have to get the table ready and then you need to set it. Okay. Okay. So I made you this chart. Preparing table for setting. Gather items you need. A sprayer. Um, and a dishcloth. Yep. So get your spray and your dishcloth. Okay. Do you know where to get them? Yep. Spray. And the dishcloth? You did four puzzles? Whoa. Nice work. Yeah. Good job. Can I get Dad to have a look? Well, Dad just got home from work, so he's having a little rest. Oh. So did you ask all the kids to clean up at the table? Yeah. So they put all their toys away, but look at it. There's still things on the table. Oh. But next it says, clear table. We done that. You haven't. There's still cups on oh. the table. We make the visuals specific to the child. Some of them can use the same visuals, but depending on their level. So for instance, Cheyenne wouldn't need something this detailed, but Laura does. So we made a visual suitable for her. Because our table is used for so many activities, we wash the table and clean it before we eat and then again afterwards. You take the dirty cups away, Laura. Okay. There's still more on the table. Huh. Let's check the whole table. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Someone left some dominoes. Mm -hmm. Hey, get them put away, please. Mm -hmm. So, Spray. you've got your table clear. Now what? Spray table. And then? And then set then, the table. Then wipe the table. Mm -hmm. So you're going to spray it and wipe it. No, nope, hold it back. Closer to you. Hey, stop. Hey. You would just keep spraying until that bottle is empty. <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Scrub the table. Okay, get some more spray. Okay. Three sprays. <laughs> okay, go down there and do three squirts. I like spraying. I know. Three squirts. Good and scrub. Okay, you can do three more on the end. <laughs> Hold it close to you. Stand up tall. Hold it close to you. That's more than three. Stop. <laughs> Is it all scrubbed in? Okay. Is the table all clean? Yeah. So next, we need to flip your board over. Let's see what we have to do next. Once the table's cleaned, then we're going to gather the things in the kitchen and take them to the dining room and to eliminate the number of trips back and forth and the risk of forgetting what we're doing, we gather all the things that we can carry into a tote and then put everything in a pile so that there's less trips and less chance of forgetting or getting distracted and forgetting what we're doing. Now you have to set the table. Yep. Well first we have to gather the items yep. to set the table for how many people? Nine! <laughs> that how many people are going to be here? Yep. So we need... Fork. How many? Nine. Remember people like big forks. Not the short ones. Okay. One. Oh, let's put them on your chart here. One, two, three, four, five. When we're gathering the items, we have boards for the different numbers of people that we have typically. So typically there's nine people, but sometimes there's other numbers. 
So we make sure that we have a board that has the right number so that helps Laura with her counting. And then on the other side, we have circles with the right number of things that we need just because it's hard to place cups on those lines. Eight, nine. Um, do you need a smaller fork? Yes. So we need to take one of the big forks away and put your small fork. I can use my special fork. We're going to use the small fork and we put them all in your tote. Okay. Why do you use a small fork? Because I eat fast. So because of your feeding and swallowing challenges, we need little bites. Yeah. So we use a little fork mm -hmm. to encourage that. Mm -hmm. Okay, put all your cutlery in here. Okay. I think I counted too No, you used your counter, so you did a good job. Mm. Mm. So take forks off. Take the fork off. What do we need to do next? Knives. Nine. Nine? Yep. This visual, we're able to change the number of people that we are setting the table for because that fluctuates around here depending if people have activities or work or if we have extra guests over and then we have all the things that we're going to gather that we need the number that matches this number in one row and then the extra things here and then once we've gathered everything we know that we need to go and set the table Eight. Nine. Okay, scoop them all up and put them in your tote. Okay. Put the whole bunch in there. Okay. Take the knives off your list. Now what do you need? Spoons. How many? Seven. Nine. Nine? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nine small spoons. You get the really small one? Yeah. Okay. One. And then regular small ones for everyone else. One, two, three. So did we start doing this with just spoons for yeah. breakfast to make it easier and now yes. you're moving up to harder ones yes. where you need lots of dishes? Yes. You're getting so good at this. Yeah. Nine cups. Okay. Oh no. Can you get plastic ones first? Mm -hmm. Flip the counter over so that we have a place mm -hmm. for cups? Mm-hmm. Okay. Count your cups out. Okay. Two, three, four. Hi. Pull the pilot. Nice. Okay. Five, six, seven. And then what kind did mom and dad get? Plastic. Those ones are plastic. What did mom and dad get? These kinds. So, are those the next two? Yep. Do you have all the cups? Yep. So stack up all the plastic ones and put them in your tote, please. Okay. Slide them down. Okay. Uh, napkins. Are the napkins at the table? No. Yes. So we'll yes. get those after. Uh, mm. That one says Put butter. Butter.
put butter in here or Oh, well, I don't think it can really go in there. Okay. And then you need salt and pepper. So we'll take the butter off. And you have salt and pepper? Yeah. Okay, put it next to your butter so you know to come back for it. Okay. Okay. And then we'll mm -hmm. get the napkins at the table. Yep. What does it say now? Set the table. Okay, take your tote. Okay. Got your tote? Mm hmm So that's everything you need? Yep. Except for your napkins? Yep. Take your picture to the first chair. Okay. Who's got the first chair, Darren? Dad. Oh, you're going to do Dad's first? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Okay, we can't put it on the picture. Okay. Just outside of the picture. Okay. Four. Nine. Five. Four. Spoon. Is that the right side? Mm -hmm. Or is it on the outside of the knife? Outside. Okay. This is right. Five. Fork. Is that where the fork goes? Mm -hmm. Should there be a napkin under your fork? Yeah. This is only one. Okay, does it look like the picture? Yes. Okay, let's move your tote and your picture to the next chair. Okay. Once we get to the table, we have a chart for setting the table. We have the words written as well as the pictures to help with that reading. We're wanting her to be able to read effectively. So by labeling the different things, she's getting the image and she's getting the written word. And hopefully, eventually, she'll be able to recognize the written word as well. Okay, make sure your picture's right in front of the chair. So then we get everything in the right place. Yep. Spoon. Yeah. Does there get a knife or? Yes, please. Yeah. Was that the right order? Yep. Yeah. Let's look at your picture. It doesn't seem to match. Where does this? That's right. Okay, take your picture to the next spot. Then doesn't Dean get a cup? Did you have enough of everything to do the whole table? Yes. Okay, let's go look at your list again because remember we left a couple things in the kitchen. Okay, what parts did we leave here when we gathered everything? Butter. And? And and salt and pepper. And we found our napkins. Yep. Okay, let's take those. Okay. There's the butter. Nice. Do you have everything on your list? Yep. And the table's all set, so mm -hmm. nice. Go tell them. Dad, do you want to come? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Dad, I'm not. <laughs> do you want Dad to see what you did? Dad? <laughs> did you set the table? <laughs> Good job. Good job. Mm-hmm. We need to check on our dinner. Yep. Do you think it's coming along? Yep. Let's go take a so look. So as you can tell from this dinner, some of the skills were above Lorelai's level and we recognize that. But there's other skills that we brought down to her level. She wanted to make dinner because her siblings make dinner. So we did a dinner that we could bring as close to her level as possible with help and then she did a dessert that was more on her level and the table setting was definitely on her level of 
skills that she's able to do. So her self-esteem is being boosted and she's trying new things and you just never know which one she's going to pick up. So I think she did an amazing job. Dinner looks wonderful. It smells delicious. So it's time to eat. So I want to thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate that you take the time out of your day to watch our video. If there's any video ideas that you have that you would like to see how we do things, please leave us a comment and we will see what we can do. Have a wonderful day. Thanks again. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Please sus subscribe.